Welcome back to our channel, Work Promoting Force. EMF. I'm Jack. And I'm Costa. And we are here at Kilsyth at Electricana. Correct, yeah. So it's an exciting day. We've got a lot of vendors, a lot of cars. What are we going to do, mate? Well, we're going to talk to a lot of EV owners. We're going to watch them go around the track. And you know what? We might even go around the track ourselves. Yep, so there's a few vendors. We're going to go see them. Um, there's some e-bikes. There's some electronic uh, electric tech. Uh, there's uh, some pretty cool recumbent bikes. And uh, what was the other one? The solar cars. Solar cars. And we're going to see an electric trike today that's pretty exciting from Rebecca. What's this you're riding? This one's my rainbow tricycle. Uh, go me a trike converted to a thousand watt electric front hub. Excellent. Pretty good at doing burnout. <laughs> <laughs> Jürgen Bius. Yeah, Jürgen? Jürgen's my name. So you uh, built this one? Yeah, I built that one. When you got and you said it was a two-wheel drive? It has front-wheel drive yep. and rear-wheel drive. Okay. The rear-wheel drive is from a middle motor. The, it got a 35 amp hour battery pack. Yep. Can go about 100 kilometer distance. That's fantastic. And the top speed is about 40, 45. Well, we're about to go and put it in insane plus mode. Yep. So maximum battery power there. This car is four years old, 228,000 kilometers. Yep. And we're about to do a launch. Three, two, one, go. Whoa! <laughs> That's fantastic. There you go. That's what launching a Tesla is all about. That's fantastic. So tell us about yourself. Your name? I'm, I'm Mark. I'm the president of the Tesla Owners Club. Bought, bought this car. It was the first P85D or one of the first three yep. in Australia. And uh, I ordered it the moment uh, Elon Musk announced a car that had insane mode. I thought I had to have it. Of course. Whoa. Wow. So we're now in autopilot. Yep. Autopilot, yep. Autopilot. But I will take control for this corner up there. Yeah. Because it's in the shade and it's not not ideal. Yeah. And the car will just pull itself to a stop. And the other thing you do, I'm currently in drive, but the moment I do this, it switches yep. itself into park. Yep. And it's it's when I get out, it'll turn itself off. Amazing. Thank you very much. No worries at all. I'm Russell Shepherd. I run Evolution Australia. So I started Evolution about four years ago. Um, if, if I'm honest, quite by accident. Um, I created an Audi A3 uh, full electric. Uh, and at the time my wife was concerned it was costing too much money. She was absolutely right. Uh, and so decided to sell a few chargers on eBay and so on. And I uh, found out there was not only demand, but also um, the product, but also demand for consultation and assistance from new EV owners. And basically that's how Evolution came to be. Uh, and since then we've uh, brought a number of products to market. We're obviously the distributor for uh, such great products as the Zappi and Charge Amps Aura and the Halo and all these kind of good stuff. And we also offer nationwide uh, installation service. So uh, it's kind of a full gambit of EV charging uh, uh, capability that we, we offer now. Um, but on top of that, it's come full circle in that we're now um, converting a number of Land Rovers for the Jaunt Motors Group, uh, which is incredibly exciting and brings us back to our roots from, from four years ago. So we're incredibly excited about that. So the Jaunt project is all about uh, upcycling 1970s Land Rovers uh, for the Jaunt Motors Group. 
uh, and we're incredibly excited to partner with them to bring these Land Rovers back to life. In a lot of cases, these machines have been stood in a, uh, stood in a, in a field for many years, uh, and invariably these cars are they have nowhere to go. But we're essentially what we're doing is we convert them to full electric up to around 50 kilowatt hours of battery, which is lots of torque from the electric motors that we put in. And um, we're in the process of building the first one. So we're involved in the full end-to-end -end conversion of these uh, Land Rovers. So battery box fabrication, uh, engineering and uh, compliance, uh, cutting of the cu cutting of the chargers uh, and cutting of the uh, electric motors as well. So the whole end-to-end -end con uh, component, end-to-end uh, con uh, -end conversion. And the intent of all this is we're going to make it repeatable, obviously, because we don't want, don't want to just do one. Um, and the beautiful thing is we're all we're doing it right here in Clayton. And uh, you know, it'd be great for you guys to come along and have a look and, and see what we're up to uh, and see how much, how much I guess, um, effort's going into it and the design and the capability of, 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 the, of our excellent team at the moment. How are you going? Tell hey, us about yourself, buddy. Uh, I'm Daryl. Um, this is my PHEV. We, um, we used it uh, in, when our long service lead to go all around Australia. Uh, we did uh, about 14,000 kilometres all the way through. Um, got a map over there where we went. Um, whenever we wanted to go, um, through rivers, uh, canyons, uh, beaches, um, anywhere we wanted to go. So it was fantastic. Really enjoyed it. Um, we charged up every night. We had a, a caravan park. Um, so our first 40 kilometres would be uh, basically free. Excellent. Um, and uh, I think on the trip we averaged around about six and a half litres per 100k over the whole trip. Yep. Um, and really enjoyed it. No major problems at all. Uh, not even a flat tyre. So, wow. Lovely. Fantastic. Yeah, so on the blue lines we went out from Victoria all the way through the middle, yep. out, out to Uluru, did some Kings Canyons and stuff up here. Uh, one of the big treks was over to Nillamboy, which is in the Arnhem Land area. Yep. Um, and that's pretty rough. Uh, really rough road and there's no service stations so you we had to take a little extra fuel to get all the way there in one go so we went there came back went up to Darwin had a look there and then uh, out through the Gibb River Road out the Broome uh, then saw lovely Western Australia with all the uh, all the uh, wildflowers and everything like that it was fantastic my wife had a great time and uh, yeah just on the way back and yeah through the uh, uh, the big, the big strip down the <laughs> the, the road there, which is um, you know uh, you, a long drive, a long, long drive, the Nullarbor Plain, um, and then through Adelaide and back again. Yeah, so we we had ten weeks. It was a great time. Um, yeah, really enjoyed it, and uh, we want to do it again. <laughs> This is the Nissan Leaf. Let's have a look inside. Nice seats. The first things first, yeah, you know, to start the car, you've got the electric start button. Yep. And basically you'll see it switches on. There's no noise, of course, because it's 100% EV. Yep. And you can see on the dash there, it says P for park. Yep. And then this little button down here, you can see these signs. Yep. And to put it into drive, you that's it. You snick it over and down. Down. And then you see D. And it says drive down here. Yep. That's it. And you're ready to go. And, and then the handbrake's off, you, which is the foot brake. The foot brake. That's it. So it sort of drives itself a bit, doesn't it? It sort of creeps forward. Yep. That's good. And got then, a bar graph. Yep. It's good for the IT heads here. That's it. And we've got a few little things. We've got something called E pedal, which is this button here, which we're going to show you in a second. Yep. And E pedal is the regenerative braking. So when you take your foot off the accelerator at the moment, nothing happens. Yep. But if you snick that down and take your foot off the accelerator. Wow. You got the e-pedal, so yeah, you can switch yeah, yeah. it on and off. And you can override it if you uh, suddenly got a car coming up behind you, immediate uh, in front of you, and you slam your foot on the brake, it'll override the, the e-pedal. Oh, okay, yeah. Gee, this, I do like the drive of this. It's really nice drive, actually. Yep. Can I give it a bit of a squirt? You can give it a bit of a squirt. Ready, go. So there you were thinking it was uh, 40 kilometers an hour, but it was more like 80, 80 kilometers wow. an hour. Wow, 
it's so deceiving and once it's up and rolling it's really fast yeah i'm doing 50 miles an hour so yeah. without an effort yeah we're well, getting up to 80 90 kilometers an hour there that so what's the range of this vehicle standard uh wltp is about 270 kilometers and there is a uh, a a leaf nismo believe it or not yes yes well. i saw that that's one odd one the um the e-brake is actually quite good off the accelerator and it it breaks yep. for you so you don't have to change your foot yep and there's other features like intelligent cruise control, which will uh, measure the distance between you and the car in front or, or a car uh, in okay, front yeah. of that again. The adaptive, yeah. Yeah. It's come to a full stop and my feet are off the brakes. Yeah. Thank you, that's really good. I'll so just, just put it back in press the park. A, press the button. It's MP. And then press, the, yeah, press that. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Thanks for your time. So my name's Brian Drummond. I'm a retired electrical engineer and uh, I've had a passion to build an electric car for a few years. I finally got the time to do it. So uh, this is a Holden Barina, uh, yep. 2000 model, um, and a 1.4 litre petrol engine, which I took out and put a DC motor in. Uh, kept the transmission, but I, I dropped out the clutch. So now there's no clutch, so it's basically an automatic. I just drive in third and reverse. It does a 100k range, it does about 110 k's down the road speed. And uh, yeah, it's a good little car. Takes about four to five hours to charge up off a standard power point. Yep. So, what made you uh, want to upgrade this car or change, build an build an EV? Uh, I wanted to build an EV because I uh, I had a couple of uh, had an old Monaro V8. And I wanted to offset my green credentials. <laughs> okay, that's rather noble. Uh, yeah, that's right. So um, anyway, I want to do another one. I want to use AC technology for the motor. This is DC technology. Yep. So you mentioned the cars for sale. Uh, yeah, the car's for sale. It's about 14,000 on your offer. It's got uh, it's two years since the conversion was done, and I calculate it's got another 13 years in the batteries. Wow. Okay. So, quickly, just the uh, batteries and uh, the the motor. What what are the details? Okay. So it's a DC motor. It's uh, a Bulgarian motor. It's rated at 22 kilowatts, but it peaks at 60, which is actually more than the petrol engine. So it's got a quite a lot of grunt. Um, it's using a solid state control, which is a Western Australia design local product. Yep. With a battery monitoring system. Yep. And it also has a display in there, that little black display there. Yep. Uh, and you, uh, you mentioned the circuitry here. Yeah, so that circuitry there is off the internet modified slightly, so it's quite easy to do. So yep. it's pretty easy to do. Um, so there's a little display in there. Oh, there's a display right there. Yep. Yeah, got... And, and then the. Uh, uh, so the batteries is. Uh, is... The fuel tank. Batteries is the fuel tank, the original fuel tanks under there, it's gone. So it's 45 if you mind batteries, 100 amp hours each. Yep. Each battery is monitored for under and over voltage and temperature. So where's the uh, plug? Where do you plug it in? Ah, well, same place as you put normal fuel in. <laughs> oh yes, okay. And it's just a standard free pin plug. Okay. So it pulls about uh, 9 amps to 240 volts to charge up. So you just plug it into a normal power pump. So it's got a 800 watt heater, water heater. Yep. It circulates this fluid around through the existing heater core. Oh, okay. So yeah, that's how you keep the, the semester uh, working and also provides a bit of heat. But I've also put in some uh, electric seats. Okay. 12 volts, which is very nice. <laughs> the mod cons. Mod cons. Doesn't have air conditioning. You just got to open the window and manual air conditioning. Okay. So some of the other things which you might be interested in is um, you've got to have a vacuum pump for power brakes. Yep. And you must put on a second uh, pressure switch to put a warning light if you don't have any vacuum. Yep. That uses the old oil light now. Okay. If you've got low oil, it means low air. <laughs> and this little blue cylinder down here. Yep. That's a vacuum accumulator. So that gives you half a dozen brake applications if the pump stops. Okay. Uh, what else is interesting? Uh, you've got to have a. Uh, I had to have a new power steering pump. So this is an electric hydraulic power steering pump. Yep. Um, so it's variable speed and variable pressure. So, it goes so the transmission's uh, standard. Transmission stock standard. I just drive in one gear, third, no clutch. Yep. Yep. Um, and the other thing you need, of course, is you have a normal 12 volt battery to do the headlights, headlights and radios on that, and that's got to be charged off an inverter. So that's 144 to 12 volts. So that keeps that going because there's okay. no alternator anymore. Yep. Yep. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Really. So interesting. The cars for sale. Cars and sale. I want to build another one. Yep. So, uh, anybody, anybody wants to uh, bring us up, they can have a test drive. Thanks for showing us around your car. Thank you. Thank you.
Okay, here we go in the Ionic. So thank you to Doncaster Hyundai. Jump into the Ionic. So we just uh, press park, handbrake, and power off, power off. and a beautiful chime. Test drive, take two. Oh, good acceleration. 55 kilometers. Good region too. Yeah, and I haven't touched the brake yet. So we're doing 60 kilometers per hour around this little track. I can accelerate pretty hard. Oh, you'll be hard. 80. 80, oh, nice. And really, it's effortless the way it accelerates. Costa, this is our real maiden voyage. Alrighty, you ready to go? Let's go. We did it. <laughs> I know. Finally. Finally. Look at that. Silence with the roof off. Yeah man, you don't even have to yell or anything. What? <laughs> you can do 100 kilometers per hour in this car and you don't have to yell. Costa, the car works. Yeah man, actually smooth. Smooth. Should I do a better?